Right, morning update. That and that and all that. Just going in here today. But before we can do that, these big lumps have to come out. Which is why I brought the breaker with us. So it's all ready for prepping now for the slab. So that's our day today. See how we get on today. And then we'll have a bit of a tidy up. Bricks are stacked like that to try and get them dry, get a bit of wind through them. But we've still got another 500 there soaking wet that we've got to stack somewhere. So we need this slab in so we can get them in. So let's get this electric set up and get started. Time to get the big guns out. I'll just get a little soft spot out. I'm going to get these lumps knocked, knocked up. That's, that's, that is a foot in, it's about a foot deep. Just, I think I said it before for the red, red engineering edgings, one course. A bit overkill, really. Right, well, have you moved the plank out of the way for me? Get your ear defenders on. I'll just, uh, I'll make them void. <laughs> that, that can go, that's a lump of clay. I moved that yesterday. Just skin that wet stuff. Bear in mind this here was just for bedding flags on. Job so much easier with the right tools, and we're on the job.
as easy as I thought it was going to be. Okay, Matt, can you manage to? Yeah, yeah. You sure? I'm trying my best to not get my gloves dirty. <laughs> <laughs> brew now we're getting there we're going to try and get concrete for this afternoon but we can't get it it's going to be Monday now so get this prepped get all tidied up get that thousand bricks there honeycombed in front of the skip get a board on top of them just give the weekend to get some some air around them and then we're done I think we're going to nip I think we'll take you for another trip to berries today we've got an appointment to pick up another sheet of jab for the floor our cavity insulation and 50 more bricks. We were short on the bricks. entrance size of that place that's just a cutting shed. Right. 
Right. Right, we're sat in our space in the queue. Oh. Waiting to be let in. We're 15 minutes early, so let's see what time we get in. We've come for some jab light, some cavity insulation, and another 60 brick. And a, a wander around the shop. So we'll carry on once we make a move. And we're in. Which you first? Bricks? I'm gonna have to cram 50 bricks in next to the stretch box. Mm. Just try and run this man over. Next bay. Assume this fella gets out of our way. There they are. Great. What? Everyone's coming in, look. Oh, wow. Second one in, out. Stack these. Are we going to do this? Are these yours? No. No, same. It's all the weight. Nine stone, moving stone, moving, moving. Trench blocks. That's it. We're going to stack them in sixes. Can do, yeah. Just to get them out of here. Oh, yeah. There you go, just toss them over. Bone's right up. Absolutely bone dry. Right. Next, hmm? um, it's on recording. Right. Um, next is um, I've got to go and book in. Tell them what I've got. The old Weybridge next. For our jab light. Since I didn't get enough ordered. Here's all your sheet materials, plaster boards. That's the foam insulation in there. Plywood. Doors. All your plastics. Electricity department on the left and plumbing. Right. Mm. 
that out. Let's kill it for a sec. A jab light sorted. You sent me that video out. Mm -hmm. Right, back over to get our cavity solution. The door open? No. Something's up with the parking sensor. Keep saying something's right in the way at the air. Uh, right there. Huh? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. The good thing about it, it's a few people in, few people out, you get a parking space. Yeah. You usually can't believe move for parking. Before our battery runs out, obviously there's the shop. And we'll get our insulation from here. In there. <laughs> parking space is great. Let's do this one. That one? Hundred. Yeah. Thank you. That's it, we're back. Berries, you was into the shop, don't we? So we've um, we finally succumbed. Got one of those each. Belt each. The only thing we haven't got, obviously, is the trial mate yet, but we'll sort something out. We've got an idea for what we're going to do about that. So, um, Lamey Stephen likes to join the tool belt rev revolution. Shame I can't say it properly. Probably gonna have to use all that sand up. But it is what it is. Just have to get her in. Yo. 
open. Let's see the other one. There you go, 1643. Um, it turned out we were three hours at Berries, wasn't it? Yeah. But anyway, got all this done. Ignore that. And we ran out <laughs> there. So, we've got to get some more anyway to put the, uh, get the 100 mil up stand, sorry, the 25 mil perimeter up stand way around the outside so that needs to go i think we've got some in the garage anyway brick jackets are on ready for the weekend it's going to be a lousy weekend so they're pretty much dry now because they've been out for two days now so concrete's coming monday actually i need to ring up about that so last job today is do that with them as you can see these are dried out nicely. These are absolutely soaked. Soaked. Unbelievably wet. So we're going to transfer them over to here. Up against the back of the skip. Should we put them on a pallet? Yeah, get them where, get some air under them as well. Yeah. No, no, they'll go, they'll go to buy them, won't they?
Right, Monday morning, 11 o'clock. We're back. Just to um, put the viscreen down, get it ready. We couldn't get concrete for today, it's too short notice. So we're booked on for tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So um, he did save, if he gets a cancellation today, he'll give us a ring. So we're just going to get it ready. There's our, our tamp, we're going to screw that together, make us a decent tamp. And I'll just show you the bricks after the weekend. It's worth that extra half hour's effort. All bone dry now. And then um, we're supposed to be back Wednesday. But uh, just been to see the site manager. We've got a garage to go and build first. So we'll be a couple of days on that. And then we'll be back here then. So that's it. As always, we'll put it on time lapse a bit and then we might just film a bit while we're taping the joints and that and putting the, uh, the strip around the edges. Have a bit of peace not to back wrap around one of the round one of the doors. Right. Okay, anyway, don't we? Oh yeah. Take I'll put it straight in the van. I was missing the boot today. Okay. Oh shit. Put that nail back in there. Everything's all good. Thank God for the nails. Yeah. Oh yeah, just before we put the viscreen down, every time we've done one of these, someone says, you didn't put the insulation around the edge. There you go, 25 mil of Kingspan, or whatever it's called, Celatex, whatever. But we've got the full perimeter done. Obviously we don't need it through there. Now we're gonna get the viscreen down and bugger off home. And a way to call maybe, or if not, back tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Stop, is it?
this is one of those jobs, it's either profiles, either it goes really smooth or really, or really horrible. This chop, put your tins of food down. Now it's down about a tenth to go in the game. Yeah. Right, we'll lift the flags off now, huh? Yeah, it's back in these, along this edge. Get it down, kids. Yeah. You might have to lift it out. What do you mean? It's ready, but you might have to lift it out. I'm going to sweep it off somewhere. Go down towards your end because we're going to have to lift this up. Lock it. That's it. Yeah, it can come my way a bit. No, it's fine now. Okay. That's it, all ready. All nicely taped in the corners. All sealed. And just a, a quick recap, just to prove it's there, is our insulation. So that's us now, heading off now, and um, hopefully we don't we don't want to get a call now, do we? What? We don't want to get a call now. No. <laughs> but it is going to rain tomorrow, so we'll see. <coughs> yeah, we just restacked some bricks as well. Now they're all dry. We've just restacked them. Got the brick jackets on them, and there's room for the uh, de delivery now. Two pack a block and a ton of sand going there. So we'll bring in the concrete tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Get a lie in. Make another one. <laughs> Over and out for now. Tuesday, 25 past nine. Concrete says it's coming about 10. So we've just rolled up now. And obviously, this has got to come out. So. Pinch the uh, pinch them up and bucket from the house. We're gonna get that out now. Get the, get the tamp screwed together and uh, await the concrete. And then that's it. We're gonna leave it then. Give it a couple of days to cure before we come back. Ready. For once, we're I think the first ready. time we're ever ready for the concrete. So we haven't forgotten us. <laughs> yeah, we've got all the water out well, as much as we need to get out with the mop and the spade. And we've got our tap set up. Obviously we've got to go from side to side to side. 
and it's absolutely freezing. So I think we're going to sit in the van and wait for the concrete now. Yeah, so we've got 10 minutes before it's due. Have we? Yeah. Right, well, let's go and get scared. I've brought a flask, haven't I? I don't think so. Yeah, you brought it, yeah. Right. Brew time then. Concrete's here. Yeah. Let's pour. That's it, concrete came about half an hour late, but that's fine because we're having a brew, so that's the first slab. We've not been in a panic, isn't it? Yeah, it's been the first one. It's actually been a nice one. Yeah. So that's it now, just giving it a last trowel up and have another tidy up and that. Uh, take the air, uh, our tamper part, ready for another day. Yes, that's the slab done. Back tomorrow to start the brickwork. I think it's a dry day tomorrow. You can hope. Yeah.